Hello again, and thank you for joining us. In the next few moments, we're going to pause. That's why we call this segment Pause. We're going to pause to hear some more good music and pause to hear a short truth from God's good word. I'll be back. Here 
I'm very thankful to the Lord that I'm, I was privileged to be born in the United States. The United States of America is a capitalistic society. We enjoy free enterprise, which means that you can go out and build and do and make as, you, as much as you want for the most part. And that mentality causes people to think that you are not successful unless you're always moving up. So in some of the multi-level marketing uh, programs, some people call it pyramid schemes, they're always talking about the next level. Let's move to the next level. And I'm sorry to tell you that lots of churches have adopted that jargon and they constantly have conventions and conferences on the next level, next level this and next level that because we've allowed the business world to taint our spiritual thinking. But in God's economy, I use that word a lot too because there is an economy in heaven and an economy on earth. And in God's economy, up is down and down is up. Whatever you see in the world's economy is opposite and backwards from God's economy. So, what if your next level is down, not up? What if God decides to bring you down to the next level? Because, brother, that's exactly what he did to and does to everybody in his kingdom. He takes them down before he brings them up. He empties them before he fills them. He breaks them before he repairs them. And so what you might be facing in your life right now is the next level. Oh, you thought it would be a promotion, more money, bigger car, um, maybe transferred to a, a really bustling metropolitan city where everything is happening but you find yourself stuck where you are maybe God loves you so much that instead of letting letting them take you to their next level he's taking you down to his next level do I have scripture for that you bet you that's why we do this I got to go all the way back to the Old Testament I got to go all the way back to Genesis and when I take you there, it's going to sound really far-fetched, but it's, uh, in fact, I've got to find it now. When God was telling uh, Jacob, I'll begin with verse number 2. Then God spoke to Israel in the visions of the night, that was Jacob, and said, Jacob, Jacob, and he said, here I am. So he said, I, I am God, the God of your father. Listen. Do not fear to go down. Don't be afraid of where I'm taking you. Do not fear to go down to Egypt. Why, folks, in the Hebrew mind, Egypt was not a good place to go. Do not be afraid to go down to Egypt, for I will make of you a great nation there. Isn't that amazing? God says, I'm going to take you where you don't want to go, and that's where I'll make you great. I'm going to put you in a place you totally dislike, but that's where I'm going to make you great. I will go down with you to Egypt, and I will also surely bring you up again. I love those verses. Here's God saying to, to Jacob, one of the forefathers, not only of Israel, but of us, people who live by faith. He said, don't be afraid of going down. They'll think you failed, but in my mind, you're succeeding. Don't be afraid to go down to Egypt, to a place you didn't want to go and still don't like. Just be assured of this. I will go down with you. I'll be with you there. 
You'll hate it. You'll despise it. You'll whine and moan and ask me to get you out. But I won't until I'm ready. But know this, I'm there. And just as surely as I take you down, I will bring you up again. Well, there it is, brother. That's why it was good for you to pause today with us to find out that you're not a failure. You, you're, you're a successful person. If you've trusted God, everybody around you seems to be doing better than you are. Count yourself blessed that God would deliver you from the, the, the plastic success of this world to personally go down with you to a place that you don't like. There, he makes something out of you. In fact, he makes you great there. Then he says, I'll bring you up again. I will be with you every step of the way. You ought to tuck that one in your Bible. You ought to find that verse. It's Genesis 46, verses 1 through 3. Yeah, make a mark by that, but also hide it in your heart. And remember, God's the one that takes you down. He doesn't demote. He goes down with you. But it's God. It is God who brings you up again. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I'll see you next time. Oh,